Well, good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to uh, give an introduction to making money or passive income with your videos and your photos. If you take the time to search the internet, uh, you'll find that there are literally hundreds of sites that will resell your images and files. Now, what you want to make sure that you differentiate between is whether or not they're licensing them on an exclusive or non-exclusive. You retain the rights for publishing, for distribution, and so forth. Now, exclusive means that you are only distributing through that platform. So, for example, if you are feeding out uh, stringer footage for the media and you upload it as an exclusive to Getty Images, uh, then you want to make sure that you're not uploading to other platforms to resell it. The reason why is because if you choose to be exclusive, they're paying you a bit more so that you don't do that. So if you go non-exclusive, then you can distribute to as many platforms as you wish. And there's many out there. With that, you can look at other platforms that may be better suited for your work. Whether it's illustration, animation, backgrounds, photography, videography, and so forth, there are the different platforms that may specialize or have a larger uh, database of clients looking for your specific uh, type of work. So you want to just take a look at the different ones, whether it's Pond5, Stringer Hub, uh, Stringer.com, and so many others. So there's a lot of opportunities there that you want to make sure that you take advantage to exploit the images and generate income. The beauty is that whether you're putting them up on one site or on multiple sites, that you can go ahead and just sit back, let those images bring in income as people license them. They'll use them for different purposes. And with that, some of the sites offer you different rates for different uses, different regional areas. So for example, if a site is looking, a local website is looking for a stock or royalty free image, they're going to get something a bit cheaper than, say, a multimedia company or a movie production house that uses some of your stock footage in a television or, or a film production. So these are the different things you want to look at. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to post regular videos and I'll actually take you through a lot of the different websites and show you how easy it is to get set up and also how you get paid for those. So we'll explore the different uh, pros and cons of the different websites and different services and platforms available to you. But right now, what you want to be looking at is making sure that all of your photos and images are properly uh, tagged. Make sure that you have, personally, uh, make sure they do not have watermarks on them. Uh, sites like Pond5 and such, they can watermark them and then that'll be removed when somebody purchases your image or licenses it. Uh, if you do put your uh, watermarks on there ahead of time, then of course it may actually have a detrimental impact on your sales. You can still add tags and your copyright and all of that to the file. However, you can do that behind the scenes and we'll go over that as well. So for now, I hope that uh, this interests you. Make sure that you uh, like and share this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next few days. I'll post another video and we'll get started on uh, reviewing different sites and showing you how easy it is to get started to start uploading your images, videos, illustrations, and so forth so that you can make money with them. Until that time, take care.